Hi peeps, it's Joanna again, um, giving you an update of some more stuff that's going on. So I have been feeling, you know, dizzy and I get like this kind of weird thing where I'll be sitting up after a while and then I get all this tightness in here and in my ears. And, like I thought it was TMJ, but I don't think it really is because it doesn't happen all the time. And I posted a video um, a couple weeks ago about it being, it happened actually on Father's Day. I had to come home. Um, but it's like a TMJ thing going on on both sides at the same time. And it usually happens between 11 and 1230 every day. So that is what I have been dealing for for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, three weeks straight in a row. Then I kind of had a week off and now it's back. So we have determined that Coffee slash caffeine is a triggering factor. I can't have any caffeine and coffee makes me literally pass out, <laughs> which is not good. Um, so I went to the doctor, I had a follow up and I talked to him about it and he was like, kind of didn't really say too much, kind of blew it off. I'm like, well, what do I do about this thing where I get the sudden urge to pass out all the time? So he, um, he's like, I think you have POTS. He had me go over the sy symptoms again. My eyes get really weird, especially like in the morning. So if I wake up and my eyes are weird, if they're dry, itchy, not itchy, but like scratchy or feel like there's like little s sand or glass or something in them. Or if, you know, I try to read something, if I have it in front of me and I'm trying to read it. You know, I'm seeing double, I'm seeing triple, and it's, it's blurry. Um, then it seems to be that later that late morning or early afternoon, I have this whole pass out thing. Um, and like I said, I think it's partially because of coffee. So I've been laying off caffeine, no caffeine whatsoever. And I am exhausted, super exhausted. <laughs> um, but he's like, I think you have POTS. I'm like, POTS. I'm like, I've heard of that. It stands for postural, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So basically it is um, your, your heart rate raises real fast after you stand up or sit down. I'm like, but that's, I'm like, I'll just be sitting there and it'll happen. And he said that you don't necessarily have to have that. Um, where you're like laying down or sitting down and then stand up for it to affect you. Um, he had me do a sit down test. You know, I, I sat on, sat on a chair and he um, took my pulse and then he also checked my eyes. And so then he had me stand up and then he checked my pulse. He did it like two or three times and I guess my beats per minute raise enough to where um, I now need to call and schedule an appointment with a specialist from the Cleveland Clinic to see if I have POTS, which is just one of the other great things that I just need in my life right now. <laughs> yay, yay me. So basically a lot of the time I'm kind of fighting off an urge to pass out, which is crazy. I mean, I've been getting way dizzier than I used to, um, you know, walking around or doing stuff around the house or sometimes even sitting. So generally this whole thing that happens, so I get, you know, like I said, I get this tightness here and here. It feels like it's like it originates in this area and it goes out and it comes down and I get this weakness. I can't, I can't even lift my arms. So, you know, I'll, I'll call down to my husband. He's working from home still and he was working downstairs and I'll call down. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go lay down because I feel like I have, have to pass out all of a sudden. He's like, what? So that's our thing now. I just let him know that I'm going to go lay down because I feel like I'm going to go pass out. So I will lay in bed and I literally get the spins. Like when you've drank too much and you get the spins and you pass out and that's what happens to me. The thing is, I will 
be out of commission for like three to six hours at a time. And you know, I, when I do come to, I wake up and I try to open my eyes and they are so heavy. It feels like literally somebody is holding my eyelids down and I can't open them. It's crazy. Um, so this actually happened yesterday morning. So yesterday morning, I woke up at like five o'clock. I'm pretty much ready to go, right? I'm like, let's do this thing. So I'm in the living room, my husband's still sleeping. And you know, I'm on my iPad and checking some stuff out. And then all of a sudden, I start getting that whole tightness in here. And I kind of feel like I have to pass out. Crazy thing is, I didn't have any caffeine no coffee, and I was not chewing gum either. So nothing had really set it off to trigger it except for me sitting in the bedroom or in the um in the chair. So that was that. So I was kind of out of commission for the first part of the day. You know, I went back to bed, kind of passed out, and then um, got up probably about 10 o'clock or something, and then, you know, I was able to plow through. I felt like sort of well rested ish but then I got really tired again I was like Man, I just gotta go home. four o'clock rolled around I'm like I got I gotta I gotta chillax so that's my weird new pots thing hope there's nothing out there called pans that can make stuff worse because that would super suck so yeah anyway I uh, will see you guys later and I hope you have a great day bye peeps